Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. The Father's Business August 7 Why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my Father's business? Luke 2.49 the parents of Jesus yearly visited Jerusalem in accordance with the Jewish law. Their son Jesus, then 12 years old, accompanied them. In returning to their home after they had gone a day's journey, their anxiety was aroused as they missed Jesus. They hastened back to Jerusalem, their hearts heavy with sorrow. While the parents of Christ were in search of him, they saw large numbers flocking to the temple and, as they entered it, the well-known voice of their son arrested their attention. They could not get sight of him for the crowd, but they knew that they were not mistaken, for no voice was like his, marked with solemn melody. The parents gazed in astonishment at the scene, their son, in the midst of the grave and learned doctors and scribes, was giving evidence of superior knowledge by his discreet questions and answers. His parents were gratified to see him thus honoured, but the mother could not forget the grief and anxiety she had suffered because of his tarry at Jerusalem. And she, in a reproving manner, inquired why he had thus dealt with them, relating their fears and sorrow on his account. Said Jesus, How is it that he sought me? This pointed question was to lead them to see that if they had been mindful of their duty, they would not have left Jerusalem without him. He then adds, Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? While they had been unmindful of their responsible charge entrusted to them, Jesus was engaged in the work of his father. Mary knew that Christ did not refer to his earthly father, Joseph, but to Jehovah. It was his choice to return home from Jerusalem with his parents alone. For in being retired, his father and mother would have more time for reflection and meditation upon the prophecies which referred to his future sufferings and death. After the celebration of Passover, they sought him, sorrowing for three days. When he should be slain for the sins of the world, he would be separated from them, lost to them for three days. But after that, he would reveal himself to them again and be found of them, and their faith rely upon him as the Redeemer of the fallen race, the Advocate of the Father in their behalf.